गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक फॉर ए न्यू वीडियो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट वन मोर न्यू मैन्यूस्क्रिप्ट फ्रॉम द जर्नल ऑफ डेटा माइनिंग एंड नॉलेज डिस्कवरी विच इज़ वन ऑफ ए रिप्यूटेड जर्नल विच हैज़ ए गुड इम्पैक्ट फैक्टर एंड द साइटेशन ऑफ आर्टिकल्स इज ऑल्सो वेरी गुड लेट एस गो थ्रू द जर्नल होम पेज दिस इज अ जर्नल होम पेज डेटा माइनिंग एंड नॉलेज डिस्कवरी एंड दिस जर्नल हैज ए गुड इम्पैक्ट फैक्टर ऑफ टू पॉइंट सिक्स टू नाइन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन इम्पैक्ट फैक्टर एंड फाइव ईयर्स इम्पैक्ट फैक्टर इज थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स फोर फोर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन and in 2020 20 the number of citations are 2 lakhs 6057 one important thing is that publishing paper in any of the journal is not a issue you need to publish in the right journal so you can find the best journal by finding the impact factors and nowadays you are seeing some of the small journals which are showing that they are having good impact factor etc but that not the reason so they are just trying to uh, show some fake uh, things which are not right here okay so you should be very cautious when publishing the paper so just go for the branded uh, publishers like uh, springer elsewhere i triple these are the reputed journals and there you can get very good value for your work okay so in this uh, we are going for the latest uh, issue that is volume 2035 issue 3 may 2021 in this issue we are trying to see one of the paper multi label learning with missing and completely unobserved labels so this uh, paper has given a new scope for the research in different fields so we have chosen this paper here and let us go for the download of the paper which is already available with me so just uh, analyzing the title of the paper it's uh, multi label learning with missing and completely unobserved labels so what was the point about this paper so this paper is going to tell the thing that just make it a better view for you so here this paper the title suggests that we can have multi label learning where we will have some missing labels and there are chances of a completely unobserved labels means there will be labels but the classification process or the knowledge discovery process will uh, completely uh, unobserve those labels so what are the reasons for that what are the reasons for unobserving of that labels is like this year so you can see in the abstract they had given here we refer to the problem as multi label learning with missing and completely unobserved labels so why the labels are unobserved so the reasons can be seen here one of the reason is these so these are the three reasons what they are telling here so we summarize the three possible reasons as follows for the unobservedness of that particular labels the first one is the labeling process is complex and costly there are cases that sometimes the labeling process class labeling process or the feature labeling process is costly so they just let it go for example as you can see there is some very complex and time consuming process for labeling where we will have a data set with millions of labels so in that case 
wantedly the people who are making the data gathering they are just going to unabsorb those labels and letting them go that is one of the reason another reason is some labels are intentionally omitted so here also for example you are taking a back a picture an image and in this you can see that there will be grass and land on the background of the picture but nowadays specialized cams are designed in such a way that they will try to capture the front end picture of that particular person and they will make the background grass and land as blur so here we are losing some amount of uh, data which is behind the person as a background so that is intentionally omitted labels and the third category or the third reason is telling that some labels are unknown in some cases of like disease diagnosis etc complicated diseases there are limitations that human knowledge may not allow you to find out all the diagnosis uh, tests what are there so that may be one of the reasons so there are different reasons why that labeling of the data set is unobserved so for this one what we like to tell is that so that can be improved by using some type of techniques so here you can see this is the uh, example what they are showing difference between previously related images learning problem so this is the case where multi label learning with missing labels has been done but here in the online or class incremental learning these are the only green labels which are relevant and white labels are taken as irrelevant and they have been neglected but if you go for multi label learning with missing and completely unobserved labels so the set of the uh, the other data which is available that will be kept as uh, an observed so but in from this you can take some useful content which is very much useful in some critical cases okay so they had said that and after that yeah they can say that they had given some significance and contribution of this work so what is the significance and contribution they said that these are the uh, different uh, things which has been summarized from this uh, research so they have introduced a problem of multi label learning with missing and completely unobserved labels and see this point this topic is firstly addressed in multi label learning to the best of our knowledge so they said that this is one of the uh, turning point regarding this uh, research area what they said and the second one is they had given a new approach called as mcul where a clustering based regularization term is utilized to discover unlabeled data and thirdly they have presented new evaluation metrics for completely unobserved data and they did ranking loss and coverage or the criterias what they use for showing their effectiveness then they had covered the related work and here you can see this one also this is the framework what they are proposing the framework of the proposed method mcul so in any research paper you just try to concentrate what is the uh, framework they had given that is what is the pictorial representation of their uh, proposed work from that you can get a lot of things here so this is the multi label learning with missing and completely unobserved labels and from this after applying their algorithm what they said is that this particular sector which is just neglected has been captured with some relevant labels these are the green labels which are relevant they had been captured with their particular algorithm what they are proposing and then they have defined the labeling techniques or the definition of what is a missing label and all those so that all can be there then you can see the algorithm so understanding algorithm can also be a little uh, difficult job but doesn't need to get depressed here it can be there but uh, you can see the basic steps what they have planned for doing this okay then experimental configuration so in this just you need to concentrate about what are the data sets they are using and from where they have gathered the data set and a question should come in your mind that 
can we get the data set from any place any any link they had given so there you can see the table one is the place where they are having the data sets here this is a list of data sets and here is the very very useful tips uh, these links you should never leave it here when you are getting any type of uh, hyperlinks in the research paper you just go and blindly click it here what happens in that nothing just see here when you click here you will get a lot of uh, useful content here so this is the uh, data set repository from there they had downloaded the data set so when you download these data sets from yourself also and you can do a lot of practical uh, things on that one studying the data set is one of the good job here if you can do that thing then you have learned something here okay see here this is also one more link here just click it here what happens if nothing opens nothing huh? if it opens you'll get a lot of uh, very very useful content here see see this is a set of data sets what they have used in this they have selected the recommended uh, are the most uh, benchmark things here but for us this is a wealth then they have just gone through the approaches which they are using for their comparison so here you can see this is one of the br binary relevance rigid regression is one of the proposal uh, one of the uh, existing algorithms which they are trying to compare with their proposal and another one ecc mlk and then lsml and here you can see one more useful point here so whenever you will get like this here one two three so these are the hyperlinks don't leave it here always try to go for the hyperlinks so here so this is the references for these existing algorithm so from where you can get the source code regarding mlk and n dot rar and you can see about these all codings here so just click it here what goes nothing and you click it here if anything related is there if you allow that will get downloaded for you it's a rare file so in that you just go on through that's the research where you are trying to search something when they provided you a link for searching then you should be very cautious to go through the link and find any useful material from that so here also a github coding is there and again here also one more page is there so just click this and allow it here you will go to the github page of this particular researcher here where he has given a lot of data here so just go through him's resume and there will be so many c c there code 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 so this is csv.set.m generator so this is the what we can tell here the diamonds in the desert what we are searching for because that can uh, turn your research to a new dimension see here click on this one and here you goes with uh, another link here if if it's not working and it's not my fault let it go if it's working and we can get a lot of details from that one so just go through that is what about the research so searching searching and searching so when they had given a particular content for you to search here so why not click that one and why not go there see this this is the home page of learning and mining from data so that's like this okay so never miss these all things here so there you can get some details regarding the data set and the algorithm which they are using and then evaluation metrics of course the headset in the starting that they are using new evaluation metrics one error coverage linking loss average precision and macro auc okay right and then they are going back to the other things here so these are the results are you getting here so that's very much important so so you i want to say some suggestions like you never miss any of the hyperlinks you just go through the data sets what they had given for you in the table of form try to understand the data sets and try to go for the existing uh, uh, algorithms what they are using can i get algorithms from anywhere can i get the data sets from anywhere so these are the two basic uh, what we can take elements for starting your research here i want algorithm i want the data set i want to practically implement anything what i can from there you can just grow up your work here
okay so that's one of the important thing what you should be noting when you are going to the research and try to concentrate on this uh, that is about the pictorial representation of course humans are very much uh, aware of uh, interpreting the results in the form of pictures so why you are going to miss that one just go and see the picture and just try to understand what what they are reading and understanding may be a little difficult but understanding picture is not that difficult try to go through this picture there are dozens of picture available in that maybe one two pictures are useful to you you may understand one two that's enough okay like that see these are the pictures and they had given uh, different uh, criteria coverage one error macro uc metrics performance uh, for their algorithm compared with the other algorithms okay and then results are also seen here and it, uh, this is these are the 20 top features of five best matched labels what they are giving here so the paper goes on like this here so again coming back to the conclusion okay just i want to explain it little little here so conclusion of the paper and abstract of the paper is very very important there you need to put your head down and try to get something from that because that is the total summary total uh, what we can tell here the essence of the paper will be there so understanding read the abstract and conclusion four five times to better understand okay and then goes about the acknowledgement and all other things here okay so references also goes on and try to read the other situations and other bibliography if it is there because that motivates you to go for some more work let us do some more work so they they just that, that one, like that oh so so the overall thing is that they try to give a new direction about how you can go for finding the unobserved labels in the process of knowledge discovery okay and they had given a solid uh, theoretical reasons why that uh, particular labels are missed here and what are the ways are the approaches by which you can retrieve them back here you can see uh, different from these two problems the proposed problem each data example is dependent by single instance associated with multiple class labels and with having its different correlations and what is the technique they are using for for finding the unlabeled data that you can see here it's given here in the simple way like uh, yeah very very simple uh, yeah building a robust multi-label learning classifier so in this what is the simple technique optimization technique is one huge where they are trying to go through line by line and try to get up things try to pick, take each and every attribute and correlate with the class and see that is it useful or not okay so the overall thing is that uh, uh, this this is one of the best paper here and uh, read the research paper number of times here that's very good here read uh, whenever you are free you just take the paper and go through that here hmm? and uh, you may get a little more idea or, or it may be less here but just going through them going through the paper uh, every day or uh, uh, once in two days that will be a good idea and uh, you know the brain goes on uh, when you go through some content here and the brain may give some sparks here uh, so where uh, you can go for a new research ideas okay thank you friends once again for uh, watching this video and uh, i'll be trying to upload regularly on the uh, you know, weekend that is uh, on saturday at 5 pm so try to be watching my videos and uh, thank you for visiting my channel and if you consider in subscribing it's good you can find it here right thanks a lot for being here right